right, Sam Solo here. Kilo Zero Foxtrot Yankee Romeo. I've been asked by uh, Compact Tenna in order to do a, uh, a little bit of a video on the, uh, let's say, propagation of uh, his antenna. I have the 7-inch Tribander on the hood uh, of my vehicle, NMO mount uh, with the diamond mount. And so I'll show you a little bit of that as well. Uh, but I am going to do a radio uh, distance test right now. Uh, I have a mobile inside the vehicle. Uh, let me uh, turn the camera around. And this radio is the Bridgecom uh, ATD578 UV3 Pro. And it puts out about 50 watts on VHF, 45-ish watts on UHF, about five watts on uh, the 220 megahertz or the 1.25 meter uh, band. And so I am sitting in a parking lot. Uh, there are these uh, hills right in front of me and I am going to be hitting a repeater that is probably about 20-ish miles away from me at least on the other side of a bunch of hills just like that. And so it is hills and forest uh, all the way up to where that repeater is. So there's definitely not line of sight because that repeater is way, way out. And uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, hills and mountains and outcroppings that are between me and it. And so I'm going to key this radio up and hit that repeater uh, from this parking lot right now. So uh, we call it Rocky, Rocky Ham. Uh, Devil's Head South. That is the repeater I'm going to hit right now. K zero FYR on South. And so it keyed up and definitely hit it, or I would have gotten a uh, a different tone. All right, another uh, distance test. I am on uh, I twenty five going north out of Colorado Springs. Uh, just past the Air Force Academy and I am going to attempt to key up the uh, 220 megahertz repeater or the 1.25 meter repeater in Colorado Springs as I'm driving away from it. I'm probably at this point uh, 10 miles or so away from that repeater and so let's see if we can key that up. K zero FYR on the 220. So I definitely hit it. So I definitely keyed up the repeater. Uh, again, this is with the uh, compact Tenna uh, seven inch tribander right there on the hood of my uh, vehicle. And that was keying up the uh, 220 repeater probably at least 10 miles away from me or 11 miles at this point. Let's try one more time. Uh, there's not a lot of traffic on this repeater, unfortunately, but this is, uh, with this radio, KC0, NAJ. it's only doing uh, five watts on uh, 220. Uh, K0FYR on the 220 megahertz repeater in Colorado Springs. Still keying it up. Let's see if the uh, repeater owner comes back. Alright, on the way back from the, uh, the Pikes Peak Radio Amateur Association Megafest, uh, going to actually try the 220 repeater again. Again, I'm trying to use the uh, compact antenna, which is my normal antenna on the vehicle, and that is a tri-bander. And so I'm going to try the 220 megahertz repeater that's in Colorado Springs. Uh, I am at exit 158, and I believe that that repeater is somewhere around 145. So that is 13 miles away. And uh, let's see if we can hit it with five watts. So let's see if we can hit that repeater uh, from here. Again, this is definitely not line of sight. They got the Palmer divide uh, between me and the radio uh, repeater, uh, and I think it's 13 miles away. 
Five watts. K0FYR on the 220. This is the W0MOG. Repeater EL is on. K0FYR, W0MOG. Hey, uh, Barry, how are you doing? Uh, I am just leaving Monument. Uh, I was at the uh, Pikes Peak uh, Mega Fest, and so I was doing a little video uh, to see if I could hit that 220 uh, with 5 watts from Monument. Okay, very good, uh, Mike. Uh, yeah, you're coming through fine. All right, uh, I'm going to do another uh, antenna test. Again, this is with the uh, the compact antenna, tribander, seven inches long, and is on the uh, the diamond uh, super gainer uh, NMO mount. And I am in the middle of a canyon uh, on a pass, mountain pass, going up through the hills. So this is where I'm at. Definitely nothing around me is going to be line of sight at all. And the repeater I'm trying to hit is going to be about another 2,000 foot elevation gain. And it's at least 16 miles from here. So 16 miles, I'm in the center of a canyon uh, coming up the uh, pass from Colorado Springs. And I'm going to try to see if I can hit that repeater. 16 miles away about 2,000 feet higher than where I'm at, but there's no way that I can see uh, The antenna from here. So I've got my radio on that repeater uh, It's the mountain amateur radio club 146820 and that one is like I said 16 miles away uh, I've got my handheld here and that one is set to uh, the repeater down in Colorado Springs so it's the same Mountain Amateur Radio Club repeater, but it's the UHF in Colorado Springs. And see if we can get a return off of that uh, from me keying up this repeater here. K0FYR on mark. So I know that there's a, a little bit of that uh, proximity deal of why I'm not able to uh, hear it on the handheld. Uh, see if I can get a little bit further away. I'll put it in the seat over there and uh, see if we can get further away and uh, hit it. K0 FYR on mark. So I'm keying the repeater up, but it might be, uh, might be static. So it's uh, stop focus. Let's see if we can get up a little bit closer. So again, I'm weaving through the uh, the mountain pass here, uh, trying to get a little bit further around the bend. And uh, again, it's a big elevation gain from the springs to over where my uh, house is, where that repeater will be at. And so uh, Colorado Springs, somewhere around 6,000 feet and uh, my QTH is around 9,200 feet, and that repeater is uh, about two miles from my house. So see if we can get through just around a couple more corners, and then I'll try and uh, pull out to the side and key up again, and see if I can get that repeater. All right, pull back off to the side now, and uh, again, it is still gonna be in the neighborhood of about 14 miles this way. And so, let's see if we can uh, key it up and, and uh, hit it from here. K0FYR on mark. And I hit it perfectly. I heard it on the, uh, I heard it on the UHF side over here uh, from the springs and was able to key it up there. And it came across the UHF side pretty good. So, there you go. That's uh, 14 miles. Uh, definitely not line of sight. 
inside of a uh, mountain pass uh, about 14 miles from the repeater. And so uh, right now, uh, compact uh, tenna, that's what I use primarily on the vehicle. All right, I am now uh, 10 miles uh, from that repeater. Again, I'm still in the mountain pass. And so that repeater is that way about 10 miles, but way on the other side of all those hills. So I'm going to try UHF. So I'm going to try to hit this uh, UHF uh, repeater in the, in the same area as that VHF one I did about four miles earlier. So let's see if we can give that a give that a shout and see what happens. And this again is the uh, compact tenna on UHF. So now we've done all three bands. K zero FYR on mark. All right, so I'm gonna try this one uh, while moving and uh, see if I can do it uh, while I've got the vehicle in motion. And this is on uh, Highway 24, uh, about probably four or five miles from Woodland Park. So coming up the pass, let's see if we can try that UHF. K zero FYR on mark. So got the repeater courtesy tone back. Uh, was able to still hear it down in Colorado Springs on uh, my on my HT. It's got the Colorado Springs repeater in it and uh, got a return. I haven't asked anybody for a radio check on it, so I guess I could do that. Let's see if we can uh, without crashing. See if we can get that going. All right. So again, the repeater is that way, about probably nine miles at this point. Uh, definitely not, can't see it because there's a lot of hills between here and there. So let's see if we can do a uh, UHF and get somebody to respond uh, with a radio check. K0FYR on the UHF in Woodland Park. Can I get a radio check? All right, yeah, copy that. Appreciate it. K zero FYR. So there you go. All right, gonna do uh, one last test uh, on uh, DMR, and so I've got a DMR frequency up. Uh, we call this Rocky Mountain Ham uh, West Creek Central. So it's a series of repeaters, let's say 12 repeaters in the central part of Colorado. And that repeater for me is about probably at this point 10 to 12 miles away. Again, I'm, I'm having to go over hills and so forth. So it's definitely not line of sight. Again, still using the compact tenna. And I'm gonna do and key up the uh, West Creek Central repeater from inside of Woodland Park. And I'll get you the uh, the distance uh, when I do the video. K zero FYR on Central. Can anybody come back with a radio check? So I definitely hit the repeater. It keyed up, and there was a uh, the pause. You know, for the DMR uh, release about 10 seconds I think my radio is set for I don't think anybody's listening let's see if we can turn that to I hate to tie up the Y channel because that's linking like 33 repeaters from Wyoming down to uh, Arizona and New Mexico that's on uh, time slot 1 that's how DMR works in the different time slots this is K0 FYR on Rocky Mountain Y just looking for a signal report K0FYR. All right, I know I'm keying it up because there's a, uh, I'm getting that tone that's telling me I'm keying it up. When I can't key up something like this one in Leadville, uh, from where I'm at right at this moment, that's way too far away. 
And so if I try to key up that repeater, I'm going to get that dead tone. And so it's not able to key that up. So I know that I was keying up the West Creek. It just must not be anybody on right now, which is, uh, I find a little bit weird, but uh, whatever. All right, got to the, uh, got to the house. Uh, again, I still have significant terrain and uh, trees and foliage and mountains and hills all between me and West Creek repeater. Uh, that DMR repeater is about 13.5 uh, miles from this spot. So definitely not line of sight. Let's see if I can uh, key it up and get anybody to come back this time. This is K0FYR on the central. Is anybody monitoring for a radio check? K zero F Y R. And like I said, uh, because it's making that uh, bleep noise at the beginning, I know it's hitting the repeater. Uh, there is just absolutely no one monitoring or no one caring to respond. So I guess that part is what it is. And that is on time slot two. Uh, let's see if we can switch over to time slot one and try it on the wide. See if I can get a bunny. This is all 33 of the Rocky Mountain Ham DMR repeaters tied together. So I hate to tie that up just for this, but you know, it just needs one person to respond and then we'd be good. Okay, zero FYR on Rocky Mountain wide. Anybody monitoring for a signal report? K0FYR. This is KD0 WMJ. Lost station calling FYR, I believe. Full play, no knife and loss. KD0WMJ, hey, I appreciate that. That's all I needed. K0FYR73. No problem. 73, KD0WMJ. Well, there you go. So, hitting the uh, West Creek wide and uh, DMR, and again, that's 13 and a half miles away through a lot of terrain and uh, foliage and so forth. That is with the compact tenna uh tribander and that is hitting the rocky mountain ham uh repeater system at 13.5 miles away and that is uh i believe the frequencies to go into that to uhf so it's uhf through uh basically a lot of the pike national forest and then there's several uh uh hills and mountaintops between me and where that repeater is so compact tenna definitely getting out kind of the end of the video i appreciate y'all watching uh this is the compact tenna and the diamond nmo mount this is k0 fyr ham solo 73